Hello friends subscribe to our channel GDC and press the bell icon for more updates. Hello friends, welcome back once again. In the today video class lecture, we are going to discuss the carbohydrate metabolism. And the first step in the carbohydrate metabolism is the glycolysis. Glycolysis is very essential for all our cells. And this glycolysis will take place in the cytoplasm of the cell. First question, very important. Where cytoplasm glycolysis occurs? Glycolysis occurs in the cytoplasm because all enzyme of the glycolysis are located into the cytoplasm this glycolysis is also known as the emp pathway emp pathway embedded meyerhof there is the scientist embedded meyerhof who have discovered first time this glycolysis steps so on the basis of their name this is known as the embedded meyerhof pathway now what happened in the glycolysis let's discuss each steps these are very important there are total 10 steps involved and 10 enzyme in the glycolysis let's discuss each by each one firstly what happens this glycolysis is started from the glucose molecule this glucose molecule have the total six carbon 6 carbon C6H12O6 C6H12O6 this glucose will convert it into the pyruvic acid pyruvic acid and this pyruvic acid have the 3 carbon 3 carbon that is CS3 CO C double OH this is the pyruvic acid so how many carbon is there? Three and two pyruvic acid will be formed after the glycolysis steps. Means three is to two means six. So here also the six carbon and in the end of the glycolysis there are also six carbon. Means there is no addition or removal of the carbon molecule. So only the ATP conversion is here. Hydrogen may be removal here but carbon will be the same. So let's start. This glucose will convert it into the glucose 6 phosphate. Glucose 6 phosphate. And here, this phosphate group comes from the ATP. And this ATP will convert it into the ADP. So, there is a question why we use ATP? Because to gain some big things, we have to invest some smaller molecules so here we first invest to get more number of the ATP since always where the addition or removal of the phosphate groups take place always an enzyme used that is known as the kinase and since, since this glucose molecule have the six carbon so it's known as the hexokinase here your enzyme take place hexokinase now this glucose 6-phosphate converted into the fructose 6-phosphate fructose 6-phosphate now the question arises why we convert glucose into fructose we can take place the reaction from the glucose here just understand the basic things This is the basic moiety of the glucose. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, CH2OH. This is 6. This is the 6 carbon glucose moiety. If we understand the fructose, CH2OH, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, in the glucose, there is only one side chain but in the fructose there are two side chains so we can phosphorylate two times but in the glucose only one so that's why for the more phosphorylation we convert glucose 6 phosphate into the fructose 6 phosphate and here the enzyme which used is known as the isomerase 
Now this fructose 6-phosphate will again phosphorylize by the use of ATP and adenosine diphosphate will form and one phosphate group added in this reaction and what happened it will form fructose 1 6 by phosphate and since here all again the phosphate group addition so what what enzyme will be used kinase but it's a fructose so it will be named as the phosphofructokinase phosphofructokinase now this fructose 1 6 by phosphate will break down and breakdown will be always catalyzed by the enzyme lyase so here the enzyme which used is known as the aldolase aldolase enzyme will break down this fructose 1 6 biphosphate into the two similar compounds first is known as the dhap dihydroxyacetone phosphate and second one glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate this is and these both compounds are interconverted to each other here basically this dhap have the 3 carbon and this glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate also have the 3 carbon means if we take this reactions to forward that means first time this will be converted and second time this will be converted so next step which take place that will be the two times in the one glucose molecule metabolism glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate this glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate will oxidized and form 1 3 by phospho glycerate here understand some basic things when any hydrocarbon will oxidize then it will form alcohol and when any alcohol will oxidize then it forms aldehyde or ketone and when this aldehyde will oxidize or metabolize then carboxylic acid will be formed so here this aldehyde 3 phosphate will oxidize and what happened in the oxi oxidation in the oxidation either addition of the oxygen or removal of the hydrogen so here what happens here removal of the two hydrogen molecules will be take place and who will consume this hydrogen molecule? This hydrogen molecule will be picked up by the NAD+. This NAD+, picked this hydrogen molecule and form NADH+, H+. Sometimes this NADH+, plus H+, plus written as the NADH2+, plus. you can also write those. So this 1,3-biphosphoglycerate or biphosphoglyceric acid, this will take place in the presence of removal of hydrogen if removal of hydrogen carried out then enzyme will be dehydrogenase dehydrogenase now there is a two molecule of the glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate here is also the two molecule of the 13 by phosphoglyceric acid now this 13 by phosphoglyceric acid there is a one question in the glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate there is only one phosphate group in the glyceraldehyde 1 3 by phosphoglyceride there is the two phosphate group so from where the second phos phosphate group comes so understand here it added inorganic phosphate molecule inorganic phosphate molecule will added no atp no adp will be used so we don't use here is the kinase so here inorganic phosphate added and 13 by phosphoglyceric acid will be formed now this 13 by phosphoglyceric acid 
here from here one phosphate group will be removed out so one phosphate group when removal will be take place then what happens this phosphate group will picked up by the adp and this adp will convert into the atp now synthesis of the atp since how many molecule of the nads synthesize two and how many atp two because two times this reaction take place break down okay now this 13 biphosphoglycerate acid will converted into the 3 phosphoglycerate 3 phosphoglycerate so here 13 biphosphoglycerate acid when converted into the 3 phosphoglycerate acid then there is the enzyme used phosphoglycerate since removal of the at phosphate group so phosphoglycerate kinase this is the enzyme phosphoglycerate kinase now this 3 phosphoglycerate will isomerize and form 2 phosphoglyceric acid or 2 phosphoglycerate 2 phosphoglycerate this 2 phosphoglycerate conversion take place by the enzyme isomerase and here we called it as the mutase now this 2 phosphoglycerate will hydrolyzed and removal of the water molecule so from here what happens removal of the water molecule so always when the removal of water molecule then it's enzyme used enolase so here the enzyme which used are known as the enolase now this enolase enzyme will convert 2 phosphoglycerate into the phosphoenol pyruvate phosphoenol pyruvate this phosphoenol pyruvate will again remove one phosphate group one phosphate group when removal of the phosphate group then who will took it it will took by the adp which converted into the atp now this phosphoenol pyruvate will converted into the pyruvic acid pyruvic acid so how many molecule of pyruvic acid will form two molecule these all will two molecule and these all will be one molecule so how many reactions step will be here first second third fourth this conversion fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth and tenth so total 10 steps involved in the glycolysis these are the different enzyme and their different intermediate product will form during the glycolysis very important things how many atp produced in the glycolysis so how many atp used if we talked about the used atp then how many atp we have used 1 2 used atp 2 total gain atp how many atp produced in the this glycolysis here is the low production of atp here this nads2 two molecule atp two molecule and this atp also two molecule so 2 to 4 and nads2 value is 3 atp so 1 nads2 means 3 atp 2 nads2 means 6 6 2 8 and 10 and total gain atp will be 10 total gain atp 10 and the profit we have used 2 atp and profit if we talk about the profit atp then it will be the 8 how many molecules of the water removed from the glycolysis there is only one in the ninth step from the 2 phosphoglycerate to phosphoenol pyruvate and how many reactions and enzyme everything is here this is very important for you 
आई होप सो यू विल लाइक इट थैंक यू